Okay, hi guys. Um, I'm assuming that if you clicked on this video, you have felt the pain of walking into a Benjamin Moore, looking up at that giant wall of paint colors and thinking, oh my God, I'm never gonna be able to choose a white paint. Benjamin Moore alone offers over 150 different types of white paint. Um, it can be completely overwhelming. Trust me, I've been there. At the end of this video, you can walk away with specific recommendations so that you can stop stressing and start painting. So let's go. But first, let's also go through some specific things that matter based on the space that you're painting. So first of all, let's talk about lighting, specifically natural lighting. Um, that makes a huge, huge difference in terms of what paint you're choosing. Best thing to do is to buy one of those little old sample pots that you can get from Benjamin Moore. You can paint them on the wall and then you can sort of look at it throughout the day because in the morning it's gonna look different than the afternoon when it's getting more direct sun, than the evening when it's not getting any natural light at all. So you're really gonna wanna see how it changes throughout the day because that's gonna make a massive difference on what paint you choose. The second thing I want you to pay attention to is what are the different elements that you're putting in the room, specifically paying attention to the fixed elements, which are things that aren't easily changed. You can change a couch fairly easily, but flooring is a lot more challenging. So you're gonna to wanna to take a look at your fixed elements and the other elements that you're putting in the space because that's gonna play off the different color. Really what we're trying to do is create harmony in the space. So if you're using a lot of, say like a darker wood, you're using a lot of blues and grays, you might want to err on the side of a cooler paint. If you're using light colored woods, then you're probably better off going with maybe a neutral or a warmer color white. So the third thing I want you to pay attention to is just what is the vibe that you want to create in the space, right? Do you want people to walk into the room and feel like it's really maybe contemporary, really cool, really crisp and fresh? In which case you might want to err on neutrals or cooler tones. Uh, are you looking for people to feel really like it's comfortable, like it's warm, it's inviting? Is that how you describe the room? Because if that's the case, you might want to err on the side of more of a warmer tone. So I think the easiest way to look at white paint that I have found is to look at them as cool paints so that has like gray undertones or blue undertones to neutrals, which is more of kind of a crisp white, uh, to warm uh, undertones. So these are warm whites. This has little hints of yellow, a little bit maybe described as cream, a little maybe even a red or a pinkish undertone. So let's start with neutrals. So a neutral white paint is as close to like a white white as you're probably really gonna get. This is where there's not a whole lot of color pigment coming from the cooler tones or the warmer tones and they sit somewhere in the middle. I think the best way to use a neutral white is when you wanna create a really dramatic look. So if you look here, uh, this white paint is offset against this black door. And what this does is it sort of creates a really high contrast look because the white is pure white. So by going with a completely different contrasting color, you create a really dramatic effect. Looks to me, this looks really luxury. It looks makes quite a statement and it just really has that impact that you're looking for. But neutral whites, you also have to be pretty careful with. So I think what a lot of people want is they want that really crisp, like all white look. And so they immediately gravitate to something that's really kind of neutral where you get that pure white. Problem with that is that sometimes you're not gonna get the effect that you want because offset against really, really bright, crisp whites, if you're putting something that's a little bit off-white, say if you get a white couch, you might find that white is actually a little bit of an off-white. And so when it's sitting next to a neutral, it could potentially look dirty. It could look like maybe it's bringing out some of the yellow undertones. Because when you put something that's really beautiful and crisp and white next to something that's got a little bit of off-white to it, it really sort of makes that little off-white that you might find in different fabrics. It really sort of brings that out and really uh, pushes it a little bit maybe further than you'd like. Again, we're looking to create harmony in the space. So when you've got these different whites playing off of each other, that can be a challenge. So I would say neutral paint colors, great for high contrast, great for drama, not really so great when you're mixing different whites together. So my favorite neutral white, having said all that, is going to be Chantilly Lace. Uh, Chantilly Lace is super popular. A lot of people really love it. A lot of designers use it and for good reason. It's probably, when you look at Benjamin Moore's lineup, it reads the most kind of that really crisp, fresh white paint. It's what a lot of people are looking for when they think of white paint. I think if you're looking for that really gorgeous white look, uh, I think Chantilly Lace is a really awesome white paint. It's probably my favorite neutral. So next up, let's talk about warm whites. So warm whites typically have a little bit of hint of cream or yellow to them. So these are things, you know, if you want to describe your space as really comfortable, then a warm white is probably going to suit you. So if you say have really light hardwood floors or you have like a really warm wood in your space or maybe a cream couch, 
this is where a really warm white paint would work really well. So when would I not use a warm white paint? Uh, well, this might seem obvious, but if you have a lot of cool elements in your space, let's say you have concrete floors, uh, maybe you have like marble tiles, uh, if you have a lot of blues, a lot of grays. So if that's the case, I wouldn't use a warm white because again, you're kind of taking different vibes and you're sort of competing. They're not working together to create a harmonious space. My favorite white paints, uh, there are two. My personal favorite is Simply White. Uh, Simply White is actually the paint that I have here on the walls behind me. Um, it's just, it's a little bit, it's got a, it's quite bright, uh, but it's just got a little bit of color to it. Uh, it just kind of creates a really elegant look. Um, it reads very white, but it's got that little bit of cream just to warm it up. My other favorite is Cloud White. I think Cloud White leans a little bit creamier to me. This is how I read it. Again, this is all kind of, you know, it's all affected by your eyes and the lighting and whatever and how you see colors. But to me, it reads a little bit creamy, a little bit more on the beige side. I like that Simply White is just a little bit crisper. To me, it's a little bit bolder, but Cloud White is another really solid option especially if you're wanting to really lean into that warm white. So the third category is cool whites. Cool whites are where you have cool undertones of like blue or gray uh, in the white paint. So when would you use cool whites? Well, if you have a lot of natural light coming into the space, you might want to cool it down with a cooler white paint, uh, especially if you have maybe fixed elements that have some blue green um, undertones to them or some furniture that does. So let's say in your bedroom, you have blue bedding, uh, you have a lot of maybe blue and gray, uh, then cooler whites will probably be still give you that crisp white look, but you just got a little bit of that undertone to just sort of create under, to create harmony with the rest of your elements in the space. So when would you want to avoid cool whites? Well, a good example is in this apartment right here. So I'm in a condo that faces west, um, sort of got some buildings around me, so I don't get a lot of direct sun into the space. Uh, so there's kind of a little bit of a lack of natural light there. Um, I have warm woods, I have oak flooring, and so to me, a cool white would probably compete with some of those elements, and that's why I ended up going with more of a warmer shade of white, which is why I went with a Simply White. Uh, that would be an example of where I personally would not use a cool white. So some of my favorite cooler whites. Uh, I have two. First is Oxford white. Oxford white is just a little hint of gray. Um, it's just a hint. It's kind of like the opposite, I think, of simply white in a way. Like it sort of just has that little hint of gray. It's got that little bit of an undertone. It just sort of really cools it down. Now, if you really want to lean into sort of the gray undertones, then I would recommend decorators white. Uh, it's still just white enough to be considered an off-white, but to me it has a lot of gray in it. Decorator's white is a beautiful, beautiful color too. So what I want you to take away from this is to look at the natural light that you're already getting in the room, work with that. Work with the fixed elements and the different elements of the space, and look at, think of what you want, what you want the space to feel like when you walk into it, and then kind of choose the different categories appropriately. And then from there, then you can go to the store, you can maybe work through some of my favorites or pick something else that you really like. And so long as you're kind of dealing in these three categories, I think it really helps narrow it down and make it a lot simpler to be able to choose a white paint because it's so overwhelming. Trust me, I've been there. I have stood at that wall and I have thought, oh my God, there's like so many options. How do I know which one's gonna work for my space? But if you just think, do I want to go warm? Do I wanna go cold? Or do I wanna go somewhere in the middle? Do I wanna go somewhere in the neutral? Um, and from there, that's what I think you can use to really go forward and make a decision. And the last thing I wanna leave you with is just to relax. Because again, this is so stressful. I understand if you're renovating or you're painting, it can be a very stressful experience. You're gonna be spending all this money. You wanna make sure you don't make a mistake. But it is only paint. So just relax, calm down, and you're gonna be able to find something that looks beautiful for you. I'm curious to know what white paints have you guys used in your home? Did you use any of the ones that I mentioned today? Have you maybe tried something new on your own? Like what are your personal favorites? And don't forget, of course, if you got any value from this video, I would appreciate a like so other people can find it. And of course, always subscribe. I post every week with design-related content and I'd love to see you around here more often. So that's it, goodbye.